Good morning, y'all. Kylo here. So I did this thing. As you can tell, it wasn't combing my hair. I cut back to halftime at the drugstore. I took a pay cut and everything. I am somewhere in between semi-retirement and career change. I've always been a bit conservative when it comes to big, huge, major life changes, but this one felt right. It felt right. I'm, I'm stepping away from the drugstore, one foot out the door, just one foot out the door, not I'm not pulling the eject handle. We do have a new pharmacist there, and basically it takes the slack that I've been having to pull. He's happy to work, I'm happy to not work there. But I am working at the paramotor school still. I do have people here, we are training. I'm headed to the field right now to maybe do some first flight attempts, we're gonna see. That's where I'm at with it. But I've been working all my life, hard as I can, since I decided to go back to high school. I was a high school dropout. I decided to go back and just give it everything I had. Do all the homework, take all the tests, do all the learning of things that I, I like learning. I'm addicted to learning things. I don't know what that is. A hobby collector, I guess. That's one, that's something I've always done all along. I've always done this stuff all along. Hobbies and skills and uh, learning different things, things that may not even matter. My most recent kick has been, uh, <laughs> herbicide chemistry and, and plants. So I'm doing a lot of that stuff just on the side in between. I don't know if you'd call it a hobby, but it's certainly something that I've never studied on before. Yeah, I went all the way without putting the seatbelt on. It's humid, looks like it's rainy, <laughs> but I don't see any rain. It may be nice, we're gonna go check that out. Sorry, I get distracted easily by the weather. But I just wanted to throw a little message out here to the world about what's going on in Kylo's life. The other stuff that I got going on, which is gonna be some production. I'm gonna be doing some production. I don't want to hint too much about it yet because I'm still mid-prototyping stage. I'm still doing math calculations and, and I'm tooling up for the production. I don't know what sort of quantities or times that I'm gonna to have to devote to that. But all that's coming. All that's coming down the road uh, will be paramotor related production. I got some ideas. I got some ideas and I'm gonna I'm gonna play on those. I'm gonna play on those and I think some of you will probably enjoy some of the things that I come up with. We'll find out if they work. <laughs> that's the big caveat. Should be a fun learning experience. I'll try to document some of it and put it on the channel here. So go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. Most of my content, paramotor related, obviously, but there's also, you know, as the channel name implies, it's my name, it's my lifestyle. So I make the videos about the things that I do. And that's what this channel is about, mainly. For those of you who want to make a mean comment, I encourage you to do so. It'll probably make you feel worse about yourself. You should go right ahead. It's okay. Got nothing but love for you. What's up, y'all? Dial out. Hello, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, thugs and thuggets. We're back at Spring Hill, and I'm going to test fire this new Charger 2 size 28. It's a bit underloaded for me, but I just opened it up out of the package, and I imagine that I'll be able to fly it. I cut it by my hand for just a second. It felt pretty good. We're gonna take it out and see how she feels loaded up about halfway, cause that's about all I can get on it. I'm gonna give this dude one little squirt. I'm sorry. I called her a dude. I see him. No factor. The risers are relatively busy, but that's okay. It's supposed to be. This is marketed as an intermediate glider. Trims are set on the gray marks, whatever that means. Haven't had time to read the instruction manual yet. In fact, I don't even know if it came with a manual. The lines are taken care of. They shouldn't let go in flight or anything. I will keep my eye on them. Probably put a zip tie on them at some point, too. Do we even have a microphone plugged into this son of a gun? Maybe. Nobody around. Clip. Nope. Clip. So there's absolutely zero shame in aborting anything at any point. Just wanted to throw that in there. No. Caught a little. It's okay. It happens. Ah, there's the wind. It came back. I love it when it comes back. What am I doing here? You'd think I'd know how to do this by now. All right. Ooh. 
Looking at my mud ditch over here. I've been digging on this thing for a couple of days. Bit of turbulence, bit of turbulence. I'm testing the air out for the students. That's what I'm doing right now. Ah, beautiful sunset I think it's gonna be. Still plenty of daylight left. We got a good uh, hour and change before sunset. Oh, there's magnets on both sides of the top. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I'm draining out this whole area down here. Uh, you can see where I've been tilling and, and kind of cutting a trail to get the water out. And most of the water is gone. There's like this back puddle back here. I need to connect those two. I see where I need to do some tilling now. That I'll need to do probably before it rains again. I put out some herbicides this morning. Knocked some of those cattails dead. Some of that uh, purple nut sedge. It's like a field of purple nut sedge down there. That stuff likes to grow in the uh, low-lying areas. Let's try out the uh, tip steering, huh? Oh, nice. Or maybe not. Oh, it's a little bumpy for tip steering. Still pushing the kill switch. <laughs> Talk about getting in the habit of pressing and holding it, huh? <laughs> hey. Speed, then control. All right, let's try another one here, huh? We're gonna kill it. I'm gonna go deep brakes to grade my glide. A little short. All right, yeah, we're gonna go full speed. What mud hole do I want to put it in, huh? Yeah, I'll put it on this side. Oh, that's good. The wing's great. No, <laughs> no, it's pretty damn thumpy up there. Y'all didn't see it throwing me around? Well, I don't know. It might change, but right now, did, was y'all watching the... Yeah. That should answer the question right there. It's uh, it's kind of a personal preference, but you're just going through a bunch of bush before you get to the ground, right before you get to the ground. I don't think it's dangerous, but it's kind of right on that edge of where I've sent people up in similar conditions. And about half of them tell me they were fearing for their life the whole time. And another half would tell me it was the best thing ever happened to them. It's just uh, in the same time in the air, you know, same type of gear, everything. But point this thing at me because I never remember to point it at me. I'm always holding it at my Is that good content? <laughs> no, Charger 2, I mean, that was initial impressions. I like it. Even being a 28 and loaded like halfway up the range, it was not bad. There's Mark taking off. Uh-oh, his motor's slipping. Y'all hear that? I think it's his clutch. His clutch is like on him. They're making that sound another day and he had a missing bolt. I bet he don't like it. He's not. Yeah, look, he's probably coming back down. <laughs> it's thumpy as up there. It's pretty good from like that altitude down. No, no, you got to go up 200 feet to hit the, the boompity bump, 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 bump. Should be a Willy Wonka soundtrack in those kind of bumps. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> and as per usual, I did not film an outro for this video. I hope you like it. I'm in the lab today at the drugstore. Have you ever seen a rectal rocket? Well, now you have. Quite the commodity if you're dealing with hemorrhoids. But I hope you like the video. Subscribe for more. Winter is upon us, my friends. I got more paramotor content. I hope you enjoy. Catch y'all real soon in the next one. Much love. Count out.